Governor Brad Little spoke in Twin Falls today covering the wrap up of the 2022 legislative session. To get 95% and all our big initiatives through, I, I'm very pleased. Governor Little's press conference today touched on key legislative topics such as education, transportation, and tax relief. Little says that the Magic Valley will benefit from infrastructure bills passing in hopes to help bridge deficiency. We're trying to address the entire bridge uh, deficiency over the next three years. So a third of it this year, a third next year, and a third the year after that. Another state issue the governor addressed was education, and Little says he likes the direction that the state's literacy programs are headed in. You know, it was the largest increase in public education in the history of the state, about $300 million but I'm, I'm really proud of the literacy uh, work we're doing. The governor says the new budget gives school districts the freedom to support education in Idaho. This will be extra money for the districts to use um, for changing student teacher ratios, for uh, summer reading programs, uh, for all of those things. Governor Little also touched on the recent abortion bill that was stayed by the Idaho Supreme Court and the issues he saw with the bill. I, I was worried about the enforcement part of it. One thing the governor hopes to avoid is a lengthy legal battle. One thing we're always careful in, in Idaho is we don't want it to go to, to the Ninth Circuit Court. The governor plans to visit Twin Falls again to cover Operation Esto Perpetua, the state's new strategy to battle drug overdoses in Idaho. Isaiah Sharp, Idaho News 6.